Real intellectuals only. Real intellectuals only. Real intellectuals. Seven, you cannot, you can't talk to me until you stop smoking cigarettes and take off them shades, man. You can't talk to me. Peace, God. Peace, God. What's good with you, man? Living and learning, brother. You know the process. You got to apply, too. Live, learn, and apply. No doubt. So I got a question for you, though, God. That's real. Here's my question to you. It's not a debate as of yet, but I do want to know what system of astrology you use. I use any astrology, all astrology. I use all of them, all the systems. I use uh, Mayan astrology. It's no limit to knowledge itself in different. That's like saying, you know, what's the best language to speak? You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a dialect. Everybody got a different way of seeing it. And I want to see it from every angle. You know what I'm saying? I find something very... I love numerology. I love all 13th sign astrology. I love 12th sign astrology. I just mainly use tropical um, astrology. But I love all of the astrologies. There's no limit to how much you can learn about yourself through different facets. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I understand where you're coming from. The reason why I ask is because see, you in nature, right? Yeah. So why don't you just observe what's actually in nature instead of what's on paper? Well, that's what I do. We we do that as well. We look at the stars. We look at the astronomy of things. We look at all of it. You know what I'm saying? We don't have chemtrails here. We can look up in the sky and see the star constellations. We actually got apps now that you can put it up to the sky and see the constellation where it's at. You see what I'm saying? On our iPads. So we 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 with it. Trust me, we all the way with it. Like that's what we teaching. We teaching the people about it. But no, God, you, you're missing my point. Mm -hmm. Right. When you actually observe the heavens, right? Mm -hmm. Tropical astrology is off by 24 degrees, God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm saying to you is if if you're looking at the 13th or astronomy today, we can look in the constellation. This app's right now, right? That can show you the transits of the sky today. That's not nothing. Yes, you got apps that can show you what's going on in the sky today. Like right now, transits, astronomy. That's that's not rocket science. Like they have apps literally to the point where it makes it so easy. You can just turn the app on and look at the stars and look at the constellations where they're at right now compared to the Earth. We can see that. Like it's it's technology. You know what I mean? So I'm not understanding what you're saying. I use all astrology. I just told you that. Well, here's my point, God. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Europeans, right? They touch things and they mess things up. Would you agree? Halfway, yes. Halfway, no. Okay. All right. So have you ever heard of a man by the name of Hipparchus? No. Okay. How about the, 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 the Ptolemies? No. You never heard of the Ptolemies in ancient Kemi? No. Okay. Well, about 2,000 years ago, right, when the Greeks were taught astrology, right? They were taught a system that didn't give them the full keys and access points to how astrology truly works. Mm -hmm. So since they didn't have those keys, they literally have been doing astrology based on 2,000 years ago, not as it appears in the heavens. That's why my person asked you, do you actually look up to view the actual heavens as they move throughout? Let me ask you another question. If you're, what, what, what uh, longitude are you on, brother? What no, I'm sorry, what latitude are you on? Well, I wouldn't give you that. But that ain't that ain't nothing but simply going to Google Map. That ain't that ain't But I'm I'm asking you for a reason, gang. Okay. Right, so in other words, I'll tell you I'm gonna tell you the latitude and longitude I am, because there's no ain't ain't nothing I got to hide, right? I'm at thirty four longitude. No, I'm sorry, one oh four uh longitude, thirty nine latitude, right? Right. All right. So that means I'm in Denver, Colorado. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So when I view out from where I stand, I have to view out in the heavens in a certain direction. In the northern hemisphere, which direction do you look at to find the actual heavens, the ecliptic in the heavens? Which Where do you look? Which direction? North, east, south, or west? I don't know. 
Okay, so see, God, this is what I'm talking about. This is real nature astrology, not now. I'm talking about natural astrology, not in the computer, right? Mm -hmm. You should be able to navigate anywhere you are on the planet. Let me give you a little key, right? So I'm in the northern hemisphere. Mm -hmm. In the northern hemisphere, the ecliptic is in the south, brother, always. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, if you're in the southern hemisphere, where's the ecliptic then? You tell me. In the, in the northern hemisphere. Mm. That's how you will always know where you're located based on the heavens, what we call nature. Right, brother? Mm. Mm. Astronomy. Would you Astronomy. agree? They're, no, they're one. There's no separation. There's no separation. There's no that's separation. a part of nature. Yes, that's a part of nature. Yes. Okay, so now, if we're talking true astrology, right? Mm -hmm. The only way you can navigate the seas is based on the stars in the sky. Did you know that? You said the seasons? The seas. What is the seas? The seven oceans, brother, the seven seas. Oh, the Atlantic seas. Ocean, Indian Ocean. The seas. Yes. Okay, now, yeah, seas. go ahead. I didn't know that. Go ahead. All right. All right. So this mm -hmm. is what we're talking now. I want you to go out, right, to the experiment with what I I tell you, right? Don't take my word for it. Look up, right? Because mm -hmm. the heavens is going to tell you and verify what I tell you. Mm -hmm. So tonight, now when you go up and look up, I want you to see what stars are in the south and which which planets are in the south as they move, right? It should be about, sunset should be about 535, 536 right about now, right? 636, depending on where you are. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about, having true knowledge of your awareness and your and your and your and your circumference in the heavens. This mm -hmm. is true knowledge. It's not on it's not in a book. Right? You can look up in the heavens and verify this for yourself, brother. Don't take my word for it. But tropical astrology does not work. That's why you're having problem, problems with your queens, brother. Because your your measurements is off. Twenty four <laughs> degrees. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I'm gonna give you an example. Eliana, let's talk about it, right? Right, because I got love for you. I want to see you succeed, King. <clears throat> you say her moon's in Cancer, right? Mm -hmm. Am I right or wrong? That's right. All right, so why don't you take off 24 degrees from her, her current planetary tropical placement, and you're going to see a wondrous action, right? If the, let's say, give it a, a let's wonder, say, what's going to be the wondrous action? The epiphany of who she really is. Versus who you think she is. Oh, okay. So, and I'm, I'm saying this, brother, because I understand that you do use astrology. I wouldn't address this any other way, right? Mm -hmm. But her moon mm -hmm. may be in Gemini, right? Mm -hmm. If her moon's in Gemini, that would explain the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde flip-flops. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. That's a fact. All right. So I'm just giving you a little piece of knowledge, right, to just add on to you, brother, just to square you up, right, so that you understand when we look in the heavens, we don't have to go by what the papers say or what a program says. The ephemeris is just the back of what's in the heavens, not the other way around. Okay. I hope you use it, brother. I want to see. Here's, me, what I'm me, gonna tell you. Here's what I'm going to tell you, the difference between 13 Astrology there is no difference because they're both I'm not the saying same. thank you. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're going to cut Before me you off? Get there, I'm, not, I'm not trying to I cut you talk. off. I, t I, no, I, got, I, I, I just want to make one clarification, brother. I just I want to make one clarification. It's not it's 13 turn. astrology. It's my hey, turn. Not 13 astrology, brother. That's it. It's not 13th astrology. No. What is it? It is 12 sign based astrology, brother. Okay. So. When you're talking about the degrees that I'm missing, right, and the signs that they're in, it doesn't matter what astrology you use. They're all the same. It doesn't matter if you call it Cancer or Gemini because they're all the same. And I know that people get caught in the degrees, but that's not very important. But I, I, I don't want to go so deep into astrology right now because astrology is not something I want to be talking about. Like, astrology is something that I, 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 I teach on. You know what I mean? To get people to get to so understand how can you their own teach self. brother, if you're not looking in the heavens? What do you mean I'm not looking in the heavens? What are you talking about? You just told me that you're saying that you're using... Now, you, and I'm, brother, there's no disrespect, but you're saying you kind of double speak. 
because you're saying that I don't use astrology like that, but then I do use astrology. So either you no, don't I or absolutely you do. absolutely use astrology. I just don't want to debate on astrology right now because that ain't something to really debate on. That's something that you have you have uh, your opinion on. Like, that's just something that, you know, on, on, like, with, like you said with Eliana, like you said that she probably has a Gemini moon. Yet today we, we're showing aspects of her son oppositioning Mars that actually shows accurate information of her in live time. So I don't, I don't want to debate something that I, that I know on that behalf. And there's no way to prove to you or you prove to me that I'm right or you wrong. There's no way to prove it unless you just use it in your life. But I feel like I said to you in the beginning, I use all astrology. I use real-time astronomy. I use the Mayan calendar. I use all the astrology. You should see the apps that I got in astrology. I use all the astrology. I so, don't use all right, all right, God. So let me ask you this, then. So if you use those apps, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And the apps are wrong, then your information is wrong. What are you talking about? The apps can't be wrong because at the end of the day, I'm trying to tell you that astrology don't work like that. You talking about degrees and you talking about, all right, uh, one is accurate and one is off. It's, none of them is off. All of them are accurate. No, nah, brother, all you wrong. And, all right, well, don't believe me then. And that's why I didn't want to argue with you about it because it's astrology, bro. It's astrology and it's like, yo, you're going to try to say like, oh, it ain't the real astrology. The real astrology is this and that. Like, look, man, I could, I could read your chart to you right now and be totally accurate about it. I could read your chart right now and be totally accurate about it. I've been doing astrology since 2008. I'll, I, I'm an astrologer. I'll bet, I'll bet you you're wrong. I'll bet I you you're wrong. The, the, astrology, the astrology I use has been shown to be very accurate. So I, I don't, brother, I can't I'm argue too much with the astrology you use and the astrology I use. That's like, bro, I'm accurate in my astrology. So how, I mean, I'm asking you another question. So astrology is real. I literally do, I literally do so, astrology readings. So God, if you do astrology, how can you not look up in the heavens, man? I keep asking you, you not, you saying you look at a program. But well, a program can What? Let me show you something, bro. Let me show you something. Bro. I don't know what, where are you from or what age you from, but I'm going to show you something, bro. Let me show you something. There are apps right now, all kind of astrology apps I have. Bro, you got Astro Future right here. This is an astrology app that actually shows you the constellations right now, live time. These are the transits. These are the stars right now and the planets right now, astrology-wise, accurately in the sky. Bro, I don't, I don't know where you're from, right? I don't know what area you're from. But we live in an information age, dog. This shit ain't that complicated. They got apps that you can actually put in the sky. You see the stars. You go over the stars. You run over the stars. You can actually see the stars and know that it's accurate. Well, I'm not arguing about that. I'm not arguing about astrology, bro. I use, not only do I use astrology that's accurate, I give accurate readings. I give accurate readings for free all the time. I could, I could break your chart down for you right now. So I'm not going to go back and forth with you about that. I don't want to talk about this because it's subjective. It's subjective to your way of looking at it. Or you could say, yo, 24 degrees, is this. Not, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about life and what can make us as people grow further. Because what you're saying is not accurate because I use astrology in such a way that it's helped many people. I teach astrology. Not only that, I've helped people understand who they are. And on top of that, if you want to watch me on a regular basis, you're going to see I'm be going into transits. I teach astrology very clearly. So I'm not. All right. I'm so I'm going, going to ask you life. another question then. So I'm going to ask you another yeah, question, right? That's what it is. All right. Because we're not necessarily debating. We're coming to a meeting of the minds. You understand what I'm saying? That's a fact. We're building. But I'm going I'm to say this. You can't say that I'm not using accurate astrology. You can't say that. Brother, this is what I'm this is what I'm gonna ask you, right? And I don't want you to take my word for it again, right? This is what I'm gonna challenge to you. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you up at a later date. I'm gonna finish we'll come we'll finish the combo, right? But I want you to do this challenge, right? And if you say you're a nature boy, right? Because you, you live in nature, right? That means that you observe nature, not only as above. But below, as above, so below. So if the heavens are right, then what's below is right. 
if a computer doesn't match the heavens, then you got to rectify which one you're going to use. Bro, I'm not about to do this with you, bro. I'm not about to. I need it's the heavens. I'm not somebody. talking, I'm talking to, about nature. To, Let's, let me change I my word. To, I just need to, I need an intellectual because you don't even know what nature is, bro. Like you, Nature I mean, is what you live in, but nature is not just... Astrology is a part of nature if you can use the stars in comparison to humanity. That is what it's about. And if you're not, what what have you done with your accurate astrology? Okay, so you got accurate astrology. What have you done with it? Okay, you know all the stars, right? You know everything that's going on in the universe. What have you done? Do you do astrology reports? Are you helping out people understand about accurate astrology? Are you teaching it? What are you doing for the people that are making them greater? All of the above, brother. All like of what? the above. Like, That's how name? I... Like, wait, so, what's, what's your info? What's so, your name? So like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question, right? So if I'm telling you, like, I gave you some knowledge you didn't have, brother. I just Yo, taught you, you something. You didn't give me knowledge I didn't I have. Told you. I just showed you an asset that gave me the knowledge So, you no, brother, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brother, Can nah, I finish, bro. brother? No, nah, you L can't Listen, listen, nah. listen. I'm not listen, 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 listen. I told you this listen, is stupid. Wait, this is I told you, you don't you don't even know where the celestial the celestial bro. That shit don't make no sense. How's that getting us out of our situation? What he's talking about don't make no sense. I'm not spending a lot of time with a nigga talking about some shit that don't make no sense. You talking about navigations and all of this and stars. If that shit don't relate to us, it doesn't matter. You're talking, you're just trying to sound smart. You know, say, oh, yeah, uh, do you know how to cut somebody from I don't know how to do surgery on people. I'm I'm into spirituality. I understand astrology enough to affect people. I can read your chart to you right now and it'd be plumb fucking accurate. I don't need nobody telling me about astrology, bro. You got another form of astrology? That's cool. Go teach your shit, nigga. But I don't come over here telling me some shit. Oh, I, I told you something that you didn't know. How? When we have apps that you could just see the whole constellation. You could literally go here and go, I live in the tropics, right? So you can you can get a a, a constellation finder, a app. Simple. You can just download a constellation app. We live in a motherfucking information. You could just get a uh, hold on.